Hello and welcome to this overview of the SPC calculator. It is a simple tool designed to ensure systems are specified correctly, are operating within limits, you have made the correct product choice, and to aid you with your order submission. So let's have a look at the tool and how it operates. When you start the screen, you may see this warning. This is because the tool uses macros in order to perform its calculations. In order for the tool to operate correctly, you must enable the macros. You can do this by enabling the content, and when you do so, this screen will disappear. We are now on the main wizard screen. This page is meant for you to enter general details about the system you are configuring or specifying. You can enter the number of inputs, outputs, keypads, doors, users, cards, and areas you require. So for this example, we're going to enter 50 zones or inputs. We're going to have two keypads in our system, and we're going to have four doors. We're also going to add 200 users. We have six areas on this system. You may also optionally add a project name. This is purely for organization and serves no function in the system. You should take care of selecting the standby time. For EN systems, please select 32 hours. For grade 3, 60 hours. And for VDS class C systems, 60 hours. You should also take due care with the additional current that may be required. This is for any element of the system that is not part of the calculation tool, but may be powered from the SPC intrusion system. On a side note, should you need any support, you may find help and support on the attached link. If you have any feedback or queries about this tool, please use the feedback form provided below. Any adjustments or improvement ideas are warmly welcomed. Moving on to the power calculation. This is an overview of all the elements you can add to an SPC system. The tool has already selected the SPC 5330 panel and the limits of this system will be used throughout the tool. Selecting the summary, we can see that the limits have already been pre-populated with the inputs, outputs, users, keypads that are capable of being supported with an SPC 5000 system. We will now increase our system with a number of inputs required. We will add on seven expanders, add two keypads, and add four door controllers for our system. We will also add a GSM module. Returning to the summary, we can see we have sufficient inputs, the number of users is sufficient, and the system will support the number of keypads, so all is well. If, however, we selected a smaller system, in this example I'm now going to switch to use a 4000 system, we will immediately see in the system summary that we've exceeded the limits of the system, and this system will not be able to operate. We are exceeding on inputs and expanders, users, areas, and the total expanders supported by the system. So, returning to our system, we will restore to an SPC 5000, and we will continue with our system. First of all, we should take care to check that we have sufficient power. The tool will show what the minimum and maximum draw of the entire system is if it is an alarm or idle state. And what we can see is that we have insufficient power in order to power the system. In order to address this, we will replace some of our standard input expanders with power supply expanders. So I'm going to insert three power supply expanders. We now have sufficient power in order to power the entire system. We will now add additional units to the system. I'm going to add the VR40 readers for our doors. And I will add a bell to the system. We will also add a number of detectors for our zones. So we're going to add 20 PIRs. And 
And again, we can check our power calculation and we can see we have now exceeded the additional current available. So we again change our input expander to be a power supply expander. we need additional power. So what I'm going to do now is, as we've changed all our input expanders to be power supply expanders, I'm going to change things around. Now we can see here that we have four standard door controllers. So what I can do now is I'm going to change the door controllers to the power supply variant door controllers. And I will increase the number of standard expanders we have. and reduce the power supply variance. So let's just check what this does for our power calculations. And we are within limits. Returning to our summary, we can see that we have more than sufficient inputs for the system. We are well within limits of the users, the areas, keypads and expanders. So the system is now operational. Looking at the order form, this is automatically generated from the power calculation tool. So we have the Vandevil part numbers, the product name and the quantity you require. If you wish to submit your order to Vandevil, you may do so here. And if you require additional information or help, you may find it at the support materials or vandevilindustries.com. Thank you for your time today. I appreciate your input and look forward to your feedback. Thank you.